Carlton. Um, yeah, another tough year for Carlton fans. I will say, I think I said this halfway through the year, but um, I actually think the Carlton list going into the season was a bit overrated. Um, I just think you look at the teams who made the finals, and I know they've all had a good season under the belt, so it's easier to say it now with hindsight, but I actually still think the list on paper is not as good as those teams. So, yeah, it's really hard because they've supposedly completed their rebuild. Um, well, that's what they thought anyway, and they are still not even far off teams who are, aren't even finished bottoming out, bottoming out yet. So, uh, yeah. Pretty rough for Carlton fans. Feel really bad for them because uh, my NRL team has sort of I followed don't. a similar path. So um, feel bad for them. But yeah, stiff to the Blues. Um, Cop Broadbent, um, BNF, Jacob Wiedering, uh, absolute beast. Best young player, Sam Walsh. Not even a discussion. Most improved. No idea. So I went with Liam Jones. Don't know if he improved, but um, everyone was frothing him this year at time so shout out he got a fair few votes my thing um out of 10 it's a tough one because i reckon i should have actually got our preseason predictions up before we did this but i actually think this wouldn't have been too far away from where i put them but i might give them a four and a half out of 10 i think maybe just um i might have put them like 10th or 11th but yeah a little bit under um bit of an underachievement i'd say but i'm sure carlton fans would rank it like a two out of 10 uh, all right, Roy, what did you make of the Blues season, mate? Yeah, I mean, you know, you stack up their list at the start of the year to everyone else's. And, um, you know, I think the Blues sort of bottom six, seven players every game um, just aren't the same quality as other teams um, that are playing finals. So I think they were always – it was always going to be tougher than Blues fans thought. You know, they bring in Zach Williams and suddenly they think they're going to win the premiership. So I think they sort of overestimated their abilities a little bit um, considering you've got a few blokes – running out there that probably shouldn't be. Um, so BNF, Sammy Walsh, absolute gun of a player. Um, Going to win a Brownlow. Uh, most improved, Sammy Walsh, absolute gun of a player. Going to win a Norm Smith medal. Um, and best young player, Sammy Walsh, uh, gun young player. Going to be captain of the All-Australian team one day. Um, yeah, I know. He's, he's their whole entire club, basically, Sammy Walsh. So... Yeah, it's, it's no surprise he racked, him, racked up all three for me there. I just can't be asked trying to give it to anyone else because, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, well, she's just the only thing going for them at the moment. Obviously, next year they'll be going for finals when they've got Adam Chera and suddenly he's Brownlow favourite after round one after setting foot on the park. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens there. I'm going to give them a 3.5. I had them finishing finals and they were pretty mediocre at the end of the year. So, um, yeah, simple as that. Sammy Walsh all the way, but yeah, everyone else hucks. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's not far from the truth there. Shout out to Stocker as well. Um, Pilch, what you make of the Blues, mate? Yeah, well, I saw an interesting Twitter post today where Eddie Betts said that the Blues list this year was as good, if not better. Actually, I think he said it was better than the Crows list that he was a part of that won the minor premiership and played in a grand final in 2017. And to me, that just paints the picture that it is just awful culture at Carlton. They just don't know how to win. Similar with Gold Coast, things stop going their way in a game and they just stop playing. Um, so I think they have serious issues down there. So I've gone and given them a 2 out of 10 because I just can't see where what's going to change in the near future. I think Teague was stiff to be sacked as well. And then same with Rowie, the awards, Walsh, 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 and then Daylight. Yeah, I actually understand what you mean. i pretty surprised by Eddie Betts' comments. I'm not sure if I agree. I do have to say that that Adelaide team did overperform what it looked like on paper when you had the likes of Riley Knight terrorising Joel Selwood and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's not positive for Carlton. Like, you look at this list, Adelaide, Hawthorne, Pretty exciting back ends of the end north. Exciting at times this year. Look like they could launch um, next year. Then there's like the likes of Richmond, St Kilda, West Coast all had down years compared to last year. They might bounce back. And then it's sort of like where does Carlton fit in that mix? And it's not, not good reading for Carlton fans. So shout out to those listening at home. It's a miracle. Oh, yeah. Crowd 
Cheers. Here's Siddle. 